have points where it can challenge and contest uh, Cloud. He gets a lot of throw combos on him too. And I think gimping Cloud is really easy. Or not gimping, but like killing him off the ledge. Down B? Uh, B, yeah. Just erupt. Oh, erupt? Oh, yeah. Eruption. Because, like, he can't sp all, all, like, snap it unless he's learning his base. Okay, we got the good dash tax. Up there, juggles. Here we go. You see, he's going to play very uh, passively. He's not going to worry too much about edge guarding. He has a pretty good lead right now, too. But uh, Ike's really good at closing out, like, those gaps with the quick, like, two or, two or three quick grabs. He gets combos really late into the, like, percentage windows. Yeah, he has the side B. Nice. The platform was there to cover his landing. It's interesting here. A lot of it kind of uh, re revolves around Ike's jab. Like a lot of Ike's, the way he's going to be getting control in this, lot, this game is through jabs and, gra and grabs. And right now, he's not really getting the grabs that he needs. But um, he's still doing a decent job contesting with Cloud. But he is at a pretty decent size de deficit despite that. But I mean, he's heavy. He'll live for a while. He has, uh, he has a lot of uh, knockback too on his moves, especially his smash attacks. So Cloud has to be careful because one row back here near the ledge will, will kill Cloud. Or force him to burn limit, one or the other. Ooh, super close. Okay, nice forward air. Ooh, scoops him. Give him the scoop. It's so, it's so hard to react to that down smash because you can DI straight down and tech the second the first hit so the second hit doesn't hit you. But it happen, it comes out so quick that you're not ready for it some half the time. Oh, is Ike dead? Ike's dead, yeah, Ike's dead. No, no. Oh, so close. Magna hands aren't good enough. On throw. Oh, here we go, up airs. Let's go. Oh, he, he tries getting that cheesy spike on him, but Ike Super Armor on up, he saves his life. Ooh, that was very aggressive. I'm surprised it hit. First three stop? <laughs> here we go. This is how it starts. I like that narrative the back here. I didn't even know that chain. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like they're both kind of just struggling with getting back on stage. Or not on stage, like getting back to the ground and can touch each other. Is happening. Uh oh. That's not safe. That did to me too, holy. It's more than Wario's Nair could ever dream. <laughs> Sam's always been floaty. Yeah, so illusion on the other on the other end of the setups. Uh, I think it took game one from Whiteout. Yeah. This is a best of three. That's a best of three too. So Whiteout's in trouble. Uh -oh. He's in trouble. Uh oh, that's gonna hit him. Yeah, man, that does a lot of knockback. Deceptively a lot. I can't wait to see this for three. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that was a nice side view to back, get back on, but then he like panic jumped out, off the ledge and ate it up there for it. <laughs> he wanted to get up back on stage so bad that CT was able to punish him out for that jump. All right, that was game one. So CT looking to take he has one game away from winning grand finals of the redemption bracket. Woo! Yeah, we're going Ryu, boys. DLC. Need <laughs> lose game one. Ike just hands 599 to the Hail game. Hail Hydra. You just get the Hydra as three heads and Ryu, Bayonetta, and <laughs> but like, Ike just cuts his little headband and like some shorter and he turns to Ryu. <laughs> Takes off the cape. It's actually Ryu in disguise. It's a 
entire time. They kind of look alike. I mean, now Ike looks alike because the muscles on him. <laughs> He's ripped. The muscle Smash Four just gave him. Yeah, man. I'm pretty sure in the Fireman game. Uh oh. Oh. Not. So Ike. close. But yeah, in Fireman games, I don't think Ike is that fun. Correct. Yeah, it's in, in, in uh, Raiden Dawn. He's ripped. I don't remember seeing muscles on him. Dude, he's, he's ripped. He that, boy, that boy's big. Oh, he got it. He got the jab lock, but missed the follow up. No, no. In, in, in Radiant Dawn, and Ike's pretty ripped. That man, that man looks like he could like could steal your girl and like. Yeah. <laughs> that was the other way around with um, him not being too much muscle, and he was speed in his game. Oh, well, I mean, he was he was still, he was stat wise. I think he was all speed or whatever, but like he was still ripped. The muscles just move really fast, I guess. Muscles. They just move super fast. Oh! Oh, he went for a down smash. A little too far away for that one. Nice side B. A hot 19 damage. Nice. Ooh. I think he's still dead, unless he gets limit charged. Yeah. He's not coming back. Interesting. Yeah. Downer didn't even spike him, but it still killed him because he hit him too far away. Yeah. Feels good, man. Sweet Team looking at a small deficit right now, but nothing a quick for Smash or a Gimp will, won't change. Unless he but, just lets Ryu yeah, keep the stop. Yeah, Big Mac's doing really good on his execution. Like, overall, so he's, he's making little mistakes here and there, like losing out on maybe 10 or 20 damage on those hit confirms, but I mean, he's, he has a lead and he's playing really elusive right now, making it really hard for Sweet Team to catch him. And I like how he's able to commit to like these, this damage, these damage things that he's been doing. Even if he whiffs them, he's not putting himself in a really bad spot for Sweet Tea to capitalize on it. Like that, like that was super clean. That was pretty clean. Yeah, he called he called out the the uh, limit blade beam. I was able to punish it appropriately. Optimal punishment. Yeah, say that was safe. Nice coverage. It's also a combination of Sweet Tea oh. not using the right or the correct limit charges. Hanna, like, the Hanna Barbera. The, the Team Town. I don't think I've seen him use a cross slash at all. Yeah. As in the limit. Yeah. Okay, well, limit's almost charged. <laughs> oh, oh, he he uh, showed you right below the level, and that's not the part where you can switch off the ledge. You don't get the auto snap like Cloud does. Yeah. Ooh, his one with the, the stinky feet, dude. Oh. He has to use limit now. Yeah, he has to burn it. <laughs> he tried spiking it. So, KJ told me that what you call. What KJ told me is that when Cloud, you know how Cloud sometimes they hit you with a climb hazard and you die off the sides really early? Yeah. The way you're supposed to die, because if you DI back towards the stage and that hits you, you're not, that actually makes it easier to die. Apparently, you gotta DI away from Cloud. Like the way he's, wherever his backspacing, that's the way you gotta DI. So if you can hit with a limit, a climb Another hazard. Another like weird that, thing was like how Spike, game, yeah. you hold up so that you can live long. Down. down. Like, no, no, gets, like I, for Ryu's Spike, like his forward air off stage, if you just. Uh, down it? Or down air, that's what I mean. Like that, if you just hold up, you actually live long. You won't go. No, down no, that's the opposite with Ryu. Like, yeah, if you hold up, you die earlier. You have to hold down in a way, which is like. There's a, there's some Twitter video showing like you hold up to live longer, and, or to fall slower rather. No, you actually that's like the exact opposite. You speed up when you hold up. You have to when you, he spikes you, you have to hold down in a way to reduce your uh, your like your knockback. It reduces the speed at which you're flying. You fly it off the stage. With the spike. The speed is well talked about. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you hold down, you actually go slower. Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't know why it does that. The opposite is what I meant. Yeah. yeah no, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. saying. Like, Ryu is so, it's such an <laughs> unconventional way to DI the move. And apparently, like, if KJ is correct on that, that that's how you have to do it with the climb hazard so you don't get killed like a 10 yeah. or a zero. zero. You have to DI the way it's going to send you because that'll make it not send you as far. That's what I meant. And it's so dumb. I'm like, why? <laughs> why, is that, <laughs> why is that a thing? <laughs> Like, that I mean, makes the, no sense. Those little weird moves that you have to die awkwardly too, and in, in like other other games, but it just it's so weird that you have to do something so unconventional. Well, why not? Why not beats illusion? By the way, game. Sam is. So he, why not? Why not wins a losing matchup? Why not wins a losing matchup? <laughs> Breaking news. Meanwhile, this is going on. The up air train started. Big Mike has a chance to take this a game three right now. He just needs a, a, a hot Shoryu. I think if Sweet Tea holds on to his limit instead of using it, he could actually just weave around with nares. Yeah. And up airs for free damage. Like, don't go in, don't commit too hard, just get the nares up airs. <laughs> it's so spooky because they're, they're like, they're all, they're both so close to just dying, making one or two mistakes to death. So they're just playing super conservative. That was in free nares. 
Oh, nice spot dodge. Oh, nice. Not yet. He's, he's clown. He has like... Corrado. Uh, I think 20 more percent limit cross slash can kill you. I'm here to ledge, yeah, for sure. Oh, that was a grab. <laughs> <laughs> nice finishy touch. Sweet Sweet will take the tournament. Redemption? Oh. Wins Redemption 2-0. Oh. But is that not it or no? I don't know. Oh, he was in loser's bracket. Oh, he's in loser's? Okay. I thought Sweet Tea was a winner. Hi. I mean, I don't care. Alright, we're going. We're jumping probably back to Smashville. Honestly, he should stay real. That worked out really well. He just got cross light. He just got finishing touch. But that was it. I think he was doing fine. Interesting. I thought, yeah, that's interesting. The way, he, the way they were playing it kind of felt like Big Mike was on the loser's side. Yeah. Immediately, All right, let's see how they work it out here. No follow up from into Shokunetsu on that hard down tilt. Oh, the accidental Tatsumaki. He keeps the double jump though, so he's safe. Sweet Tea wasn't in a position to punish that either, so. He's not, he's not converting off that hard down tilt. It's so he weird. Yeah. I think he's not reacting to the fact that he's getting the hit confirm. Again. Oh, big damage. Big goo. Big goo damage. The sex number. <laughs> and gone. It's gone, man. The love is over. <laughs> he's, he's, he's loving his inputs a lot now. I think he's, he's, he's either trying something fancy or he's nervous. Because that's like three missed hard down tilt combos and then three accidental Tatsumaki's in a ledge. Oh, a little too early, a little too early on that one. If he did it a little later, he might have been able to like uh, put the shield or maybe he would have dropped the shield. That's retreating. I like the way that Ryu was retreating with uh, with Tui T. But the Nairs, it, it kind of covered his uh, backside. I think Cloud's almost in kill percent. If not, not already, if not, if not in kill percent already. Oh, nice recovery through the down. Curve. That would've been so cool. That'd've been really slick too. Oh, he wait, he, he caught him during the swing part of it. The swing of a uh, cross uh, focus attack. Nice scoop. Scoop. Nice scoop. The uh, the the swing, the part where he swings at you after the focus attack is vulnerable. Not the rest of it, though. like not the beginning of it. Yeah. But just a swing. Oh. Like, that's something that I remember when I played Trello with Little Mac. I, I would intentionally, like, when he was focus stacking, I would just charge smash attack and then try to, like, hit through his his uh, focus stack. Here. That's always pretty crazy. Oh, he goes for the spike. Doesn't get it, but get some hot damage on him. Still in the lead, despite losing the shot stock first. <laughs> okay. Oh, another one. Can I get another one? Oh, this is a Hadouken, too. No follow up. He's landed so many back here. So much damage. Nice scoop. But he's, at, he's at like zero, so it's not gonna kill. And he burns climb hazard trying to recover. He's a little too far off stage. Yeah, he got greedy trying to gimp Ryu. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. Elbow to death. <laughs> Shokunetsu, Shokunetsu. We're playing really passive right now, which is fine. Honestly, I think I'm okay with like Cloud having. If I was Ryu, I'd be okay with Cloud having uh, charging limit because then it makes him easier to combo. Because he's like he becomes a fast faller. Yeah. And he's pretty heavy, like not heavy, but like he's he's at a pretty good weight already for combos to begin. If you make him a fast faller on top of that, then why not? Just so much damage. Can't okay, limit charge. The only concern really is that Ryu is a 95 percent. Like getting hit with a cross slash or a blade beam all stage would take him out. You have to be really careful about that. Yeah. Yeah, he doubled. He cut the, cut the double, jump. He cut the ledge jump. Yeah. Down air. It's so hard to catch Cloud when he's landing and he's like weaving away from you because he's gonna nair and you gotta be able to get underneath the nair, shield it, and then grab him afterward or. Or use a move that gets underneath it by itself, and that's hard to do. A lot of moves don't have that that kind of priority where you can sneak underneath there. 
Yeah. Especially if they fastball it, then like it covers the ground. So he's gotta pray for that perfect shield. Ooh, so connects us the wrong way. That was really slick. Oh. Ooh, squeaky. Almost got it, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, so we're actually point blank. Not safe. That's so scary. And you see that charging? Oh, that was very unsafe. But he's, he's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, yeah, he, has he had a double jump. jump. So scary, though. Yeah, all it takes is like a, a, a good down air and he'll die. Oh my god, they're both a kill percent. <laughs> oh no. Let me charge. Nice in there. Nice retreat in there. Holy. <gasps> oh, he spiked him. <laughs> that was good. That was bad, man. Yeah, that was really clutch. That was disgusting. Yeah, we're going back to Ike. I don't like this decision. I mean, he just... He got... A whole, a whole stock lead and he still couldn't close out the game. So. Well, it's harder to close out a game with Ike than with Ryu because... I know, I'm just saying, like, yeah. he's just going to keep switching if he loses the game, yeah. I guess. Ike doesn't have the luxury... Ike doesn't have the luxury of, like, closing out the stocks as efficiently as Ryu. And he's going back to Battlefield, too. And last time they played here, it didn't really end well too for his Ike. So I'm kind of concerned about this... this change back to Ike, but I mean, maybe he's adapted to the way Sweet Tea's been playing. Mm. But it took a little too long on that back air. Nice forward air. <laughs> oh, that was a good. He could have done blade beam. He could have caught him with blade beam and killed him. Oh no! Wow, that absolutely hits to the platform. Ah, did, it, did it a little too late. He, yeah, he had to roll. He ended up just walk, walk back in there. If he lands a down tilt, because normally I give down tilt to forward air, but since he has so much rage on him, he has to like, oh, he has to like go. Let it rip, and he dropped shield. Yeah, he dropped shield. I, I don't think he thought that it was a blade beam. Like, it, it, that's kind of like, the hits you, I, I've gotten hit by that before too, where like, I get hit with the blade beam the first hit, and I, I, I already intentionally know that I want to Lego shield as soon as I hit it on something, but I don't react fast enough, so I just get bought for it. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> Don't want it to end the same way again. <laughs> Let me cloud so fast. Look at him go. Ooh, that, that was a nice attempt, but, but my yeah. magic doesn't really care. Oh, that might be it. Probably. Yeah, that's it. First stop. Got a good little 21% string. Yep. From two moves. We in it to win it, dude. I like the intent on that down air. If he had read the double, if Sweet Tea had double jumped, that would have been a quick kill on Cloud. Oh, sniped him. Okay, we're getting the up airs. We're getting the up airs going. Let's go. More up air. Let's go, Sweet Tea. <laughs> I thought he was gonna go above the level. Nah, Cloud has that auto snap. Oh, Ooh, empty hop to cross slash. <laughs> he, he catches him. We get, we take it. Big Mike on the verge of, of dropping the set 
a little too low. And then she can close this out somehow. I like the little perfect pivot he did. It, it gave him space to like catch so out. I, yeah, catch him out. Still alive. At least. Oh, he has to burn it. Yeah. I thought he would make it back without it, but he started eruption, so he he had to burn it. Oh my god. So if I if I get charged a little longer. Yeah, I don't think he would have uh, traded. You know, actually, I don't see a lot of down airs from Sweet Team right here. I mean, he's playing it safe. It's kind of it's kind of sketch too, just in this matchup, because Ike has ways that he can uh, either trade or win out against it. Yeah, that's there it. it is. Very nice <coughs> down there to clinch it out. CT will win 2-0, resetting the grand finals of redemption. Next on stream, I believe, is Whiteout versus Hero Win for losers finals. 